10 Boston Dynamic Secrets They Don't Want You To Know. If Willy Wonka made robots, his workshop might look something like this, Anderson Cooper said while touring Boston Dynamics Waltham Workshop. Cooper was visiting for a 60-minute segment which gave a behind-the-scenes look at the company and their lifelike robots. The segment, titled Boston Dynamics, Inside the Workshop Where Robots of the Future Are Being Built, initially aired in March, a few weeks after Anderson's visit. Boston Dynamics is also featured on another online segment regarding their efforts to help create autonomous Mars rovers. All of this has given us a deep insight into the company helping us bring about 10 Boston Dynamics secrets they don't want you to know, so keep watching to the very end. But before we begin, we request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's jump right in. Number 10. Highly Guarded Secret Anderson Cooper began the special talking about how 60 Minutes worked, quote, behind closed doors in the past and only released occasional YouTube videos. Cooper said the television program unsuccessfully tried to visit the company's workshop for years. Quote, we've been trying to work without any luck into getting Boston Dynamics workshop for years, and in March, they finally agreed to let us in, Cooper said. After working out strict COVID protocols, we went to Massachusetts to see how they could make robots do the unimaginable. Number 9. Using an Xbox Controller Atlas may be one of Boston Dynamics' most complex robots. 60 Minutes calls it, quote, the most human-looking robot, and it's said it moves like an automated acrobat. Despite advanced technology, including three onboard computers and a gyroscope, the human-sized robot is controlled with a common video game remote. In one shot, technician Brian Hollingsworth can be seen using an Xbox controller with a distinctive Green X logo in the middle. The robot is doing all its own balance, all its own control, Railbert said. Brian's just steering it, telling it what speed and what direction. Number 8. Pushing them with a hockey stick. Technicians need to test the balance of their robots, and sometimes that includes forcefully pushing their robots with the end of a hockey stick. Quote, Kevin Blankspor is one of the lead engineers here, but at times he prefers a very low-tech approach to testing robots, said Cooper, while playing a segment of Blankspor physically jabbing the robot and hitting a box out of his hand. We think of that as just another way to push them out of the comfort zone, Blankspor said. Number 7. The Viral Dancing Robot Video we spent at least six months, maybe eight, just preparing for what we were going to do, Railbert said. And then we started to get the technical terms working on the behavior. The result? An almost three minute video of all of the robots dancing to Do You Love Me by the Contours. The robots move to the beat like humans and even do the popular 1960s mashed potatoes dance. Cooper noted how the dancing project, while playful and amusing, cost a lot of money and took 18 months of company time. This process of doing new things with the robots lets you generate new tools, new approaches, new understanding of the problem that takes you forward, Railbert said. But man, isn't it just fun? Number 6. Atlas and Spot have a new sibling, Stretch. After introducing two of the well-known Boston Dynamic robots, Atlas and Spot, the dog-like robot that's sold and used for a variety of tasks, 60 Minutes showed off Boston Dynamics' new robot, Stretch. The tall robot, which looks like a 7-foot arm on a moving box, is designed to help warehouses autonomously and will be on sale next year. You can drive it around with a joystick, and at times, that's the easiest way to get it set up, Blanksper said while moving Stretch. But once it's ready to go in a truck and unload it, you hit go, and from there, it's on autonomous, and it'll keep finding boxes and moving them until it's all the way through. Number 5. A Car With Legs during the last minute of the segment, Cooper talks to Raybert about his dream project. A car with an active suspension, essentially legs, like a roller skating robot. And a robot like that could go anywhere on Earth, Raybert said. That's one thing that maybe we'll do at some point, but really, the sky's the limit. Throughout the episode, Raybert expressed his fascination with creating robots with legs like animals and humans because they allow versatile mobility over uneven surfaces, a design that can be seen both in Atlas and Spot. Number 4. Far from independent. The robots are far from functioning independently, despite many people's fear. Many Twitter users have reacted in both amazement and fear over the human-like qualities of the robots' movements. Nevertheless, Boston Dynamics said these people are attributing more intelligence to the robots than they should. The rogue robot story is a powerful story and it's been told for 100 years, but it's fiction. Robots don't have agency, Plater said. They don't make up their own minds about what their tasks are. They operate within a narrow bound of their programming. 
If you told it to travel in a circle in the room and it can go through the sequence of steps, Rayward said. But if you go ask it to find a soda, it's not doing anything like that. They haven't seen machines move like this before, Plater said. And so they want to project intelligence and emotion onto that which weighs our fiction. Number three, spot many staring into our souls. In November 2017, Boston Dynamics debuted its new robot dog, Spot Mini, the smaller, more nimble, updated version of the company's previous canine robot, Spot. And the new miniature version looked, dare we say it, kinda cute. That is, until we saw it in action. In the Spot Mini's debut video, the robot dog trots along, before it suddenly stops and gazes into the camera. And let us tell you, y'all, it was creepy as hell. The creep factor is due to several reasons. First, in most of the videos that we've seen of Boston Dynamics robots, the robot never acknowledges the viewer. We're watching the robot perform basic feats, like walking, but there's always been a comforting distance between ourselves and the robot as the performer. But all of a sudden, with a Spot Mini, Boston Dynamics signal to us that the robots are watching us back. Who wants that? We'll tell you. Nobody. Nobody wants that. Then, after gazing into our souls, the Spot Mini turns and trots away as if to say, nope, not worth my time. Great, so the robots are going to be creepy and rude. Ugh. Number two, the Spot Mini Escape. The good news about the impending robot apocalypse is that it's always been relatively easy to keep robots contained. Put a simple obstacle in the way, like the time we watched Boston Dynamics' first robot dog, Spot, slip on a banana peel, and the humans win. Or at least that used to be the case until February of 2018, when Boston Dynamics released a video of a robot opening a door. In the video, our friend the Spot Mini tries to get out of a lab but can't because his dumb robot doesn't have hands. But then Spot Mini gets the last laugh as he calls over his friend, another Spot Mini, and plot twist, this one has his arm on its back. The new Spot Mini walks over, extends its creepy fifth robot arm which is mounted on its back, pulls the door handle, pries open the door, and holds it open for its robot friend to walk through, and then walks through the door itself. It was proof that the robots cannot be contained. Number 1. Resisting humans Okay, so we know that the Spot Mini can open doors, but humans and robots should work together. If a human tries to stop the robot from leaving, the Spot Mini will listen, right? Wrong. Shortly after the video of Spot Mini opening the door debuted, Boston Dynamics uploaded a new video, this time showing what would happen if a human tried to stop the robot. And let's just say, it doesn't go well. To be fair, the guy didn't seem like he was putting up that much resistance against Spot Mini. After all, he probably doesn't want to damage the robot. But still, what we do see is that once the Spot Mini has its mindset on something, it'll continue at all costs to continue its mission. And that level of determination in a robot is not a good sign for humanity's continued existence on Earth. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, join in next time for more of such interesting content.